Hi, my name's Amanda, and today I'm going to show you how to make a feather wreath. And the wreath that we're making today is actually going to be a Halloween theme. So the colors that we're going to use is orange and black. But this is a very simple craft, and you can actually make this for any holiday or any theme. But the main, um, and this is actually what the wreath is going to look like um, when you're finished. I actually got a head start on this. Um, but like I said, it's fairly simple to create this. But the um, crafts or the materials that you will actually need, the first thing you will need is the wreath form. And this can be purchased really inexpensive. I purchased this one at Walmart. I think it was around 2 or $3. And I, I believe you can purchase it at any craft store like Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Um, but depending on what size that you get, they normally run from anywhere from 2 to $5. Um, the next thing that you will need is feather boas. Um, I've actually purchased three. I've already secured two of them on the wreath form. Um, but like I said, the theme that we're going for is Halloween. And I chose orange and black, which is also our school colors. So this can also be used um, for school. And... Um, I purchased an orange one, a black one. I also found an orange and black one. So I'm going to show you basically how to, to secure the feather boas on here. Um, another thing that you will need is pipe cleaners. And I purchased orange pipe cleaners and black pipe cleaners. And um, I actually cut them in half. So um, they don't need to be very big to put on the wreath forms. You just basically use these to secure the feathers on there, and you want to make sure the colors blend in with the feathers that you're using, and that way you don't see them through the wreath. But how you tie them on there before you put the feathers on there is you would just take your pipe cleaner, and you put it in the wire like this, and you pull it up almost like you're tying a knot, and then you just twist it around almost like a bread tie. And just put several of these on there and you can mix the colors, the orange and black, so it kind of blends in. Okay, and I've already got my black one on there and then I took the orange one and I secured the end of it and then I wrapped it around the wreath. So I still need to secure the end of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to find two ends of a pipe cleaner that I have on here. And there's one. That's the only thing whenever you're making these. Um, once you get the feathers on there, it is kind of hard to find the pipe cleaners once you get started. Okay, so I've secured the end of it. And I think it looks okay like this, but I want to go ahead and add a little bit more. So I'm going to add my orange and black one on there. So what you want to do... Take the end of your boa and find two of the pipe cleaners. And you just take it and you just wrap it around there. And then when you're done wrapping it, you can just tuck the pipe cleaner in somewhere. So, and then you just take your feather boa and you just wrap it around the wreath. I like to use several because I think the fuller that the wreath is, the better that it looks. So, so we're just going to wrap it like this. And then when you're done, when you get to the end, you want to find your pipe cleaners again. And you just take it and wrap it. And make sure you got all your pipe cleaners tucked in where you can't see them sticking out of the feathers. Okay. And you can also add flowers or about anything that you want on here but they look just fine without anything added on there but this is what your finished product is supposed to look like so there you go 
and your materials will probably cost, if you just use the feathers um, and don't use anything else, I'd say around $20 to $25. Um, that's how you make a feather wreath. Thanks for watching.